as promised, 35 different industries, an expert from each industry talking about the challenges, the hardship, the opportunities. You know, welcome back. We're live at Expert 35. Uh, we have a great lineup T today. We have Christina Terve talking about social media. She's an expert in digital marketing. Christina, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. We got a great lineup too. We've got uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about meditation. Then we're going to talk about mortgages because rates are all over the place and they get really low. So the timing is just right. We're going to talk about security and then we're going to talk about sports. And actually, along in the mix, we also have a nonprofit, starting a nonprofit and how we can do that. So join us for the conversation. Uh, again, you can text expert35 to the number on the screen uh, for, for our reliable experts can get in contact with you. And Christina, is joining us today. She is expert 03. Christina, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us how you got into this world of digital marketing and advertising. So um, I've been in the industry for about 30 years now, and I started out as a graphic designer with a minor in psychology, and I understood that there was a lot more to art than just throwing something up on a canvas. Mm -hmm. And so um, that led me into wanting to know more. I was very fortunate. I went to Western Washington University and Microsoft um, subsidized computers and access to the internet before it was known as the internet. And so I got a lot of firsthand knowledge. And then when I graduated, I actually went and worked um, as a contractor at Microsoft. So um, I knew that was where the world was going and I wanted to be on that ride. Amazing. And now you're, I mean, you are somebody that does really like interesting uh, psychology behind color, behind logos. And I got to give a shout out. You did our logo for Expert 35. So, <laughs> so we're biased. But yes, I mean, you know, tell us a little bit about that. I like, I like to kind of explain that a little bit. So as I said, I have a minor in psychology. So early on, I understood that um, basically people in order to make a sale you actually have to convert them to an emotion so they have to know like and trust you feel comfortable with you and so there's a psychology behind shapes and fonts letter fonts and also color and so um over the years i've kind of you know perfected what i do by following the the trends and the history behind all of that and making that work for clients to attract the right business that they want to attract. And it's so important right now. I mean, things are changing. The economy is at probably some of the worst we've seen since, you know, a decade ago. And, and it's not changing anytime soon. We're slowly opening up, right? So, you know, what's on top of everybody's minds is what are your customers' biggest concerns, especially when it comes to uh, digital media and, uh, and social media? So I have a lot of customers that are fearing um, spending money on on their marketing. They think that's a really good place to cut back right now. And honestly, that's the worst place that you can cut back. Now's the time to actually expose your brand, build those relationships, get people understanding what sort of value that you provide. And so um, I would recommend at the, the very least that you consider a 25% budget on um, on your marketing right now to get a good rate of return on that. Right. And, you know, of course, nobody knows what a budget is sometimes. They're like, what budget for what? For marketing? Like they're, they're thinking sales or thinking return on investment, right? We actually have some really interesting uh, questions already coming up, right? The... Um, Here's a question from Greg. The economy has grounded to a halt. How can my social media stay relevant? That's a good question. So again, as I mentioned, you want to build trust with people to be able to take the next step into business. So now's a good time to provide value, to share content from your non-competitors and to, um, you know, really look at what people need at this time. So maybe you're helping to promote their business. Maybe you're doing collaborations, things of that nature. And that's really going to help build trust with your brand as well. Well, and this is a great follow-up question, right? You want to build trust, but you want to be sensitive, right? How, so how should brands position their message during COVID-19 to be sensitive, right? And like, I'm going to just preface with, I saw an ad uh, that was from Uber, and I love the ad, but then at the end, because they use the word don't, right? It was just like a double negative. 
and don't ride with us or <laughs> and I was like it come it totally like lost me so and I was almost like ah I don't want to hear from Uber <laughs> right so this is probably really sensitive it's like how do you actually make that happen their marketing um well how do you, how do you position right how are you still oh, sensitive yeah. to that mm -hmm. so i like to use high five marketing is what i call it so uh, there's a lot of marketing out there right now that's called fomo fear of missing out um i try to avoid those things because mm -hmm. you want to again position your client in a way that they want to work with you so when you're scaring and you're you know telling them you're going to miss out or you're not part of the crowd if you don't do these things i don't see that as the appropriate way to market your message i would rather have it be inclusive and you know high vibe meaning love and you know join us with the experience those types of things so you become a community and it's not a it's not a fear of missing out or a low vibe um tactic right and so and you know there's a lot of things you can repurpose as well right but when, when you start off, we started talking about, okay, this is an opportunity, have a little bit of a budget. Uh, people are also looking at branding. And so here's a great question out from the crowd. It says, Greg's asking, you know, that you can get a logo for 50 bucks, right? You, there's all these websites, like, are, are those, is that good enough? Is this a good time to just go through those avenues? What do you think? Um, so yes, you can get a logo for $50 or a website for 200. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get something that's going to work for you or have a good return on your investment. One of the things that, um, I look at with a client is who they're trying to attract and what methods that we can do that we look at their rate of return, uh, return on the investment. Um, so maybe for one person, they would want to do marketing flyers or print campaigns. Another person may want to go into social media and yet another may want to do email marketing or a combo of all those things. And so um, I just caution, you get what you pay for. I end up fixing a lot of people's logos and websites <laughs> right. and done these things. So, um, so definitely, I think it's important if you're going to look into that option that you educate yourself on the terminology, you educate yourself on all these little hidden fees that people don't talk about so that you're making an informed decision. Absolutely. And I see it so many times where somebody thinks they bought the rights to it and then they can only, they can only use it for certain commercial purposes or they can't use it in print, right? Or they're only using it for like a year. Uh, and I think what you bring to the table or, you know, talking to an expert like you, it would be the fact that you're talking about the full 360, right? You get to know the customer. You yeah. get to, the brand isn't just the logo, it's the whole identity that you're encompassing into um, into an expression of them. And that way, when they do apply it, you know, those things become more and more relevant, right? Yes, and that is one thing. I've always tried to look at the customer when when I make my business plans. So you you mentioned you know the rights. I always give 100% rights to everything that they um, work with me on. And so you know once they're done, their logos there, is their websites there, is they they can do what they want with it. A lot of people in my industry do not do that, and so I feel that's an important um, thing for them to be aware of. And that's so important, right? And it's really important to look at the contracts and what, what you're buying, what you're getting. A uh, great question, you know, that we, we just want to line up is this is a good time for people to do it on their own, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, it's not rocket science. I think you can definitely do it on your own, but I would recommend that you consider hiring an expert to at least help you with the outline of things and to decide, you know, is this something that I can do on my own or if I need somebody to do it? There's a lot of work involved when you're looking at social media strategy versus just posting. And so if you're just trying to have a presence and post and you're not concerned about your return on your investment, then sure, do it yourself right now. But if you're needing some conversions right now, some money coming in, you may want to hire an expert at least at the beginning to get you started. Yeah, and it's really a plan. A lot of people think social media is like, oh, share, like, and all these things, but it's really a strategy. And you want to make sure that you've got a momentum building towards a goal Right. I'm going to, you know, I know we noticed recently you had a great shout out from one of your success stories and your clients and during this pandemic. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to embarrass you a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to put it on the screen. There it is. I hope it shows up, but tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> so that was really awesome. This is a client that I had worked with before and we had, um, 
he had invested in me and we got a $90,000 software return and he came back before the pandemic and he said, let's hit this hard. I want your advice. And um, within about three to four weeks, we achieved a million dollars in contracts for him. So I'm super excited about the results for that. A million dollars in contracts? Oh my God. A million dollars. <laughs> yeah. It was like after we, week two, we had a half million and I was like, whoa, this is a top. And then it doubled. So <laughs> it's pretty exciting. That's amazing. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, they think, oh, social media is is not it's not there for sales but it's there to really validate the brand right because a lot of people will google will search will like find you and even on a pay-per-click they'll find you but then they'll go to social media to see who are you right yeah exactly and again i help with a strategy it's not cookie cutter it's not one size fits all i work with my clients ask them what their goals are what they want to achieve, who they're, you know, who they're trying to attract. And we keep their brand cohesive through all of that and um, make a plan to make that work. So obviously on this, you know, this example, we were successful. So I'm very happy about that. Amazing. Uh, one more, one great question saying, what's the one thing I must avoid? I know we got our three things to do, but this is a great question. What is the one thing I must avoid when crafting my content? <laughs> when crafting your content? Um, Gosh, like don't 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 question. get mad at the client. Like, don't interact <laughs> with the client. <laughs> um, I would say again, uh, again, I like to come at it from high vibe of what to do. So I'll kind of turn that question around just a little bit. Um, I would, I, well, I guess the, what not to do would be to be the vibe. I would be high vibe, exciting. So it'd be like, hey, join us and look at what this you know value that we're offering to you so definitely don't make it all about you and sales pitches you want to reach out to the client where they're at and attract them that way so be informative and helpful to them and it's and it's important to not just talk about yourself right like keep it exactly. about the, the, the communication perfect so this is my favorite part of the show it's three things people need to do right now the economy is tight there's a number people are sitting at home you know, what are, what do you think are the three things you should be doing? So right now with your social media uh, marketing, you should be promoting your brand, getting exposure out there. You should um, also be building relationships and adding value. So that's really four things, but they all kind of tie together. And one of the ways that are really easy right now is, I mean, everybody's doing these zoom virtual calls, right? So how do like, it's really neat to tie in what you're doing and sharing that as well. Right. So building those relationships is building it online, building in, in social media. What are other ways people can build those relationships? So definitely, like you said, you could do Zoom. You can do um, a group on social media that's activities that are, you know, I, we can't get out right now, but you could do um, helpful things or what would you like to do type thing. Keep it all high vibe, exciting. Also, you can do email marketing campaigns. Those are really big right now. Just again, don't be spammy. Um, have a plan in action and work off of that plan. And I think having access, like the social media gives people access to you. That's why the voice is so important, right? So uh, no, I mean, super timely. You know, we, we always talk about some of the resources available to people because time is, you know, of the essence the resources are low. What are some of the resources that you think we can give to, um, to our viewers? So there's a lot of reasons, excuse me, a lot of resources out there right now. And, um, it's very easy if you just do, you know, open your search engine and type social media, how to things of that nature, you'll find a lot of people out there offering free resources for you to look at. Um, again, you really just need to find the best fit for you, what makes sense for you and try it on for size. See if it works, if you're getting the results that you want. And there's a lot of free trials as well, right? That a couple of weeks, free trial, two weeks, 15 days or whatever. Uh, what's a, what's a tool that you use in the, in your arsenal, like Hootsuite or like, do you recommend or HubSpot? Do you recommend anything like that? Um, so some of my favorites are HubSpot, Active Campaign. Um, also, as far as knowledge, co schedule is really good. If you have a WordPress website, that was actually one of the ones that I started out on. Was very impressed with their platform. Um, and then there's 
just numerous people on social media that have built their businesses using social media. And now that, you know, several years later, they're actually training on it. So um, again, just keep your eyes open. Once you do a few searches, Facebook will populate some suggestions for you. So you'll see. Right. Those. No. And so timely. I mean, this is such a great time to have you on board again. Thank you for our logo. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great information. I think it's really important for people to know, like, look, there's tools out there and some tools you have to pay for. Uh, social media, you don't normally have to pay for it, but you pay for it in time. You pay for it in creative. And if you don't have that strategy, that long, that's what I'm hearing. Like you need to build that momentum and that trajectory. And that's what you're here for, right? In terms of building that. I'll give you a couple of, you know, love to have you on there. I know that if they text expert03, to the number on the screen that you'll do a free video replay of the 15 minute consultation. So talk a little bit about that, of how they can get uh, a little bit of strategy from you. Yeah, so actually I do a 15 minute consultation for free, as you said, and that is going to be just kind of getting a snapshot of your marketing right now. And I will help you, you know, with the next steps. And then also I have about just over an hour video of a social media st strategy that I did, and so that's included as well. So it's gonna give you a background on, you know, best times to post and what do we post and things like that, what platforms are best for me. So, um, you know, I, that's something I wanna give to you to have and, it, you know, something to move forward with so you don't feel like you're alone in the process. Perfect, and we're gonna release you onto the chat so you can put in all those resources because I think that's gonna be super helpful. Look, I'm gonna give you, you got a shout out from Margo. <laughs> yeah. So yes, you, you wanna go back in there and you know jump into the chat. Again, Christina, thank you so much for joining us on Expert 35. It's been a super pleasure having you today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Have a blessed day. All right, thank you. Guys, you've heard it from the social media and marketing expert. Uh, this is Expert 35. We love uh, bringing different experts from different industries, talking about the opportunities, uh, talking about how we can get through this. Uh, Houston, a lot of the country is opening back up, so there's going to be a couple shifts going through there. Uh, join us live. Uh, this lineup's week. This week's lineup is actually going to be really powerful with meditation tomorrow, then mortgages, security, and then sports. Like what's going to happen with sports? So join us in the conversation, and I'll leave you guys with some of uh, Christina's top three of things to do. We educate during difficult times. We collaborate at Expert 35. 35. This is for a better tomorrow and a better today. Let's come together and together we will find a way. You got questions, we got solutions. You got problems, we got resolutions. Visit expert35.com. No need to worry.